Welcome to that edition of Let's Talk Show. I'm your host, Andrew James, and today I'm pleased to have with us in studio, Mr. Sion Johnson, a recent uh, grad from McKenzie High School. He wrote 10 subjects in the CXC, well-known and popular at McKenzie High School for his personal best in the 100, 200, and 400 sprint. Yes, thank you for having me on your show. It's yes. my pleasure, uh, Sion. I'm so glad that, you know, after, uh, you know, celebrating with your family and your friends, you've taken some time out to come on the show and talk to us a little bit. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience as it relates to your time at McKenzie High School, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, I started McKenzie High School at, in 2015, and I joined Sophia. And I met a lot of new faces. The first day I was very nervous, mm -hmm. of course, because the first time meeting everybody. So I I didn't start running as yet until I reached Farm Tree. I started my first year of running. But the first time I tried out to run in, I didn't get through because the um the captain for the team, he had a favorite person, so he picked him over me. So the next year I tried out and I got through. And after that, I did very well. I joined for Agri and I completed the school this year and got mm -hmm. seven ones, as you said, and three twos. Very good. Uh, you know, Mr. Johnson, I'm very proud of you. Um, you have done what most people are not able to achieve, and I salute you for that. I commend your mom for investing in you and for you being dedicated and being committed, um, both in your academics and as well as your um, athletic, ability, athletic ability. I do see some of your videos. Your mom would send me some videos from time to time, and I, I want to encourage you to keep running keep striving, keep working hard, keep plugging away at it. Um, I was in the agriculture science stream as well for S1 and 5S1. And you know what? I, I, I tried my best. Uh, I wasn't a runner, but <laughs> I tried my best. And, you know, it, it has really paid off. As you can see, I have a plant in the background. I still have plants and I, I still do try my best to give back and, and to, to keep up with what's happening. What was it like uh, doing your CXCs? I mean, for you to come out with seven grade one, that in itself is outstanding. What was what was it like, if you don't mind breaking it down for, for me? Well, it was very hard because the week before, a few weeks before we had CXC, I had to do a surgery. So I didn't get to attend school and the coronavirus and all that stuff. But I still stayed home, study. As I was recovering, I studied and studied. And at the end, it paid off. Very good. Excellent. Well said. Um, what are some of the struggles that McKenzie High School students, um, you know, um, encounter when, when, when doing CXC? Well, what would you say are some of the struggles? Well, for me, some some of the students, they don't have money to buy the books because mm -hmm. their parents can't afford it. Right. And they don't have money to go lessons. So they end up like giving up. Because like, mm. so you know, people don't really understand like certain things when they teach in class, but as they go lesson, they tend to understand it more because they feel more comfortable. But some students don't have the money for that. Mm. So, yeah, that's what I think. And that's also it. the books, the textbooks. Okay. They don't have money to buy. I was in conversation recently with a current prince ed teacher, Mr. Um, Aslan Small, and he, he mentioned um, they have a program. I, I'm not sure how effective it is, but uh, can you tell us a little bit about that program if it exists and if it's working? I know this school has a program whereby they usually loan students textbooks. And before you get your results, you have to return those books in order to uh, view your results. Is that program working? Or, and if it's not, can you tell us what they can do to possibly improve it? Familiar with it. 
because I never actually borrow the books. But I think the library actually lends books mm. to the students for free. But I was never a part of the program, so I don't know about it. Okay. What was it like uh, from, from your childhood years, if you don't mind me going back and asking, to your high school years? What was the difference? When did the transformation happen? And when did you realize that, you know what, I got it in me. I am a world-class sprinter and I am going to run. When did that actually happen for you? Well, that was in Form 3, just before going over to Form, uh, form 4, mm -hmm. when I had to get marks for physical education, so I had to run. But the first thing when I actually went to try out to run, as I told you, I didn't get picked because the captain had a favorite, right? Mm -hmm. So there was this uh, excuse that you'd always use and tell the teacher, you um, try it out, but you didn't make the team right and you get your friends to vote for you hmm. so i i use that so <laughs> so the next year i tried out again what i actually got through about nobody didn't really look at me saying that i would win or anything but when the sports came as you know i was nervous on the line very nervous no boots i didn't wear no boots nothing but as it started I don't know how I got the speed, but I just got the speed to run and I finished first. And that's how I made my first nationals. And after then I continued training and training and I got that eventually. Very good. Congratulations. Um, I'm so proud of you. Um, you know, in, in, in life, it's, it's, it's sometimes the underdogs that, you know, usually come out victorious. Keep running, keep doing your best. and. And, and God is going to continue to bless you. What, what would you say to your mom for the support and, and, and her being, you know, your biggest fan and standing by your side? What would, what would you say to her if, let's say, your mom was watching this video today? Well, I would like to say thanks to her because she's always behind me, always on me to do my schoolwork always on me to go training, to do good. And she always rewarded me for when, every time I do good. So I would love to say thanks to her for everything that I've got today. Anybody else you want to shout out? Anybody else you want to acknowledge? Yeah, I'd love to uh, shout out my coach who has um, trained me for the past three years or so my cousin in England, um, my father, who's always trying, and my aunt Sintong, yeah. Very good. What's the name of your coach? Is it Johnny Grazandi? No, it's Moses Pantlis. Okay, all right, very good. Any fond memories of Mackenzie High School? Anything funny that you can remember that, you know, when you look back, you can have a good tackle? Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, it was, it's kind of funny, but it was this week before sports, I actually slipped out my toe, my little mm. toe, mm. And when I was playing football. I wasn't even supposed to be out in class, but I was out in class and I went and played football and slipped out my toe. Mm. And... um. I wasn't in any pain because my body was warm, right? So I was laughing and the children asked me why I laughing. And I just laughing and the thing slipped out. The bone is completely fractured and everybody trying to push it in back. Mm -hmm. But I was so nervous because um, my mother told me not to play football, but I didn't listen to her. Mm -hmm. And she was so upset with me. But mm -hmm. even to that, I still went the next week and run, and I still made nationals. Hmm. Well, I guess, and, and which toe was that? Was that the big toe? No, it was the little one. Okay, and is it is it doing better now? Is it is it all healed and back to normal? Yeah, it's healed, but it's not straight as it used to be. 
Okay, very good. Well, I guess the, the, the takeaway from that story is that young boys should listen to their parents, especially their moms. Ma the mothers know best. One last question. What would you say to um, a student right in CXC, let's say next year, what, what would your advice be to current, uh, stu upcoming students that plan on participating on, on, on the exam next year? So just study hard, stay calm. It might not be. You can do good or you won't do good and I'll keep working hard. Okay, well said. A star, a rising star of Mackenzie High School, Mr. Sion Johnson. On, be on behalf of the Mackenzie High Alumni Association North American Chapter, Mr. Johnson, I want to take this opportunity to thank you very much for sharing your story with us. I look forward to working with you. The association is always looking for, for new members. I want to encourage you to join the group and encourage some of your friends to also get on board. As you can see, I'm getting old and we're looking for young, fresh blood to come and take the organization, take the association and take their rightful place and take over. So older folks like myself, I can then sit in the back and watch the young people take over. Thank you so much for your service to Linden. Thank you so much for taking part in sports and being a shining light in spite of all the challenges you have uh, endured. Um, you are a hero to me and, uh, you know, people like you, I take my hat off to you and I salute you for all that you're doing. I used to struggle just like you. Today I still struggle, but I, I, I think I can comfortably say when you put your trust and your hope in God and you work with your parents, good things will happen for you as a young person. Keep smiling, keep shining, and I look forward to talking to you in the near future. Say hi to your parents and we will be in touch. Good night and thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, take care.